Hey guys, this is Razor Sien and today we are coming to this cross counter training. This video is actually sponsored by Gfinity, an European esports organization running a tournament series including games like CSGO, Rocket League, you know, and Street Fighter V of course. So today I'm going to show you the topic about defense. This is one of the core aspects of fighting games. In uh, every single game you need to know defense and I'm going to make you became an amateur player to a better amateur player not a pro yet you know but it's gonna make you a better player definitely so let's go into defense you know I picked Laura because uh, Laura is a lot of people doesn't like to fight against Laura while a lot of top players actually doesn't think Laura is um, the greatest character and it's debatable you know so I will not talk about that so when you're defending in this game What's really important is you need to know all the options. Understanding all the options is one of the key to being a great defense player. So what can you do during defense? Let me show you a lot of different... Let's say when you are pressured by a string, you know like... Oh, he's he does a string, I can't press a button. You know, I can't press a 3 frame, my 4 frame doesn't work. So, backdash is one of the core aspects in this game because... Uh, backdash makes you airborne and the third frame and it shrinks your hurt box by a little bit so every time on attacks that you can actually have to block it you can actually backdash it as long as there's a gap so backdash is a very important thing that a lot of players even the top players until now is not using it the, the removal of jump back tag in a 2.5 patch makes people questionable about how to actually defense properly in this game so one of the options that you have to know that you can always use a backdash. What backdash avoids is a throw and it's throw invincible and if you get hit in the air, it's third frame in airborne. What does it mean by airborne in the third frame? It actually means that you get hit in the air. You know, as long as every attack almost has a gap, you know, in between. So another kind of defense, you know, in fighting business backdashing. In Street Fighter V, you can also press a button to make sure that the opponent get really f the pushback to make a pushback, you know, that's really far. Look at this example, like you have to deal with a mix up from Laura, it's front and back, you know, you can't really deal with it. But let's say if you press a button, like for Ibuki, every character has a button that can make the pushback happen. It's usually a standing attack, you know, so when, when the pushback happens, you can weak punish after they press a button, you know. See, look at this. So the combo that originally works if I'm blocking will actually not work if I press the button. So I can get a comeback just like this, you know, easily. Every, every credit can do it. You can do max damage, you know. It's up to your choice, you know, which which one you want to do. It. And, uh, what kind of mix-up, what works. This is all about, you know, a little bit of hard work. You know, you need to know a little bit of what mix-up they always get hit. You can uh, avoid the 50-50 this way. Of course, uh, this is two of the core mechanics. I still think backdash is something that is really very under-optimized. A lot of players is not really using backdash. And one of the very common situations is uh, dealing with like shimmy. So a lot of people think that 50-50 is like, okay, let's say I get hit by a Laura, a shoulder attack is plus two. So I can't press a button, right? Because he can, the throw will always get me. And when I try to when I try to, try to do a tech throw, you know, Laura does a shimmy. See, I do a tech throw, Laura does a shimmy, and if I doesn't if I doesn't tech, you know, and he just throws me. So this really looks like a 50-50 in a lot of situations in a corner, a troll loop, you know, it always happens, you know. One of the things you can do is you can always jump away. A lot of people didn't realize that jumping avoids the troll. So when jumping avoids the throw, you can just jump to avoid it. So what if they do a shimmy? What happens if you do a shimmy? You can also avoid it because they're actually walking backwards and delaying their attack. So at this situation, you see, if I, if I jump forward and they do a shimmy, I'm really I'm kind of safe. You know, but if actually, but if it does a throw, I get out of the situation. So just by knowing things like this, you know, you can actually, you know, avoid getting clamped into a 50-50 mix-up, you know, although the options is still very little in Street Fighter V, but knowing these options can change you in, from an amateur player to a better player. 
and Capcom has actually implemented a lot of secret, you know, techniques among the new character that's being implemented in season two. Let me get to show you the new characters. What is the difference between all the new characters? So now let's talk about Colleen and Ed. This is both of the two new DLC characters in season two, you know, and they actually have something really in common. You know, what do they have in common? Let me show you guys. Let's say you you know you're facing a situation like you know you're fighting against a carrying and this is like the most common situation, you know. They are right into your face, you know, and they start pressing a stand like kick, it's plus two. They went for a medium. There's no way you can get out of the string, you know. Like and pressing any button doesn't get out of the string. But back dashing why do I emphasize on back dashing? Look at this back dash. If you block the attack and back dash, a normal character will always get hit by your airborne. But you know, for characters like Ed and Colleen, they can avoid it completely. Look at this. I'm, he's just right. Karen is just right in my face, and I can avoid it completely by back dashing. This only applies for you know, not even Cammy. You know, any character that you think that has a long back dash, it doesn't actually work. Only in the new characters like. Colleen and Ed. So this is um, something that if you are playing a new credit, it's even an even bigger bonus for you, you know, to know that oh, there's actually techniques like this. And let's look at Ed. What does Ed can has a pushback with this move as well? So every character, see, so will, if I get hit by the down medium punch, the stamina will always connect. But look at it. If I press two buttons. The pushback is really far. You can see the difference, you know. So the new characters actually also cater more to pressing a button, pushback, a stronger back dash, you know. So these are the, some mechanics that you can use to make your defense better, including jumping away in a corner when you're trapped by a mix-up, a troll loop, you know. Let me show you the situation right now. A very common situation, you get trolled by carrying. And he just does a troll, you know, or he just does a shimmy, he just crush down and does a shimmy. And a lot of a lot of people think that oh, I don't like this situation. Like this situation is like such a 50-50. There's nothing I can do. If I take the troll, I get shimmy. If I don't take the troll, see, I get shimmy, you know. So it's like this, like I move shimmy or you know walk shimmy, any any turns you may call. But what I can do is I okay, I can always just jump away. I don't have to tag, you know. Look at that. He can't. He can't get the troll. If he does a, if he does a shimmy, I can just jump away. So all these are actually the main three core mechanics of defense in Street Fighter Five right now. And knowing this will make you a better player, for sure. So I hope everyone will will learn and understand the new new mechanics. You know how how to actually defend properly, because that will be a game changer. Because you can look at this. And you can punish with a super, just like this, you know, from the pushback. I hope everyone learned a lot from today. For the defense that, uh, this defense section that I want to tell you guys to avoid getting clamped into more 50-50 situations. And hope you can become a better player. Okay, just to recap what I've just talked about defense today. The three core mechanics of defense now at this meta game is uh, back dashing, pressing a button for pushback, and... Of course, um, jumping away during shimmy situations, you know. These are the three common cases I hope you can benefit from it, you know, from to be a better mature player. Hey guys, I'm gonna thank Gfinity for this sponsored video. And if you're in the Europe region, Europe in any part of Europe and you're interested in going pro, this will be a good platform for you, you know, to get from a better mature player to getting pro or even a better mature player and you may be the next guy to beat me in EVO, Capcom Cup, or the next major. You know, so players who are interested, you can sign up over here. Uh, the link is challenges.gfinityesports.com And I hope uh, the lesson today about defense mechanics, uh, you have benefited a lot. Uh, sh this is more of the defense mechanism, even I'm using it in the tournament. So I hope everyone learned a lot today. See you at the next tournament.